Russia has clipped a U.S. drone in the Black Sea. You know the Black Sea is over there by Ukraine and Russia. And it basically forced the U.S. to bring down our drone. Let's get into it. Okay, so there was breaking news earlier today. The Pentagon has said that they had to bring down a U.S. drone, which is a spy drone. But per the reports and things that I'm learning, this type of spy drone is very normal to be over in the Black Sea, to be in those international waters. Now, let's take a look at a map so you see all the things that you can see. Okay, as you can see, the Black Sea is here, Ukraine is here, Russia's here, and this is the importance of the story. Also, keep in mind, Crimea is right here, which is a part of Ukraine that Russia seized during the Obama administration. They are also seizing other land in this area right here, which is causing the Russian war in Ukraine. Now, the word on the curve is, is that the Russian plane was playing chicken with our drone. That's how they clipped it, which forced the U.S. or our country to put the plane down. Now, the Biden administration has always come out and said, since we are backing Ukraine, our goal is really not escalation with Russia, but that we want to help Ukraine defend their sovereignty. Because if you don't stand up for one country invading another, what's to stop a whole nother country from invading another? Now, it is interesting because typically or lately, Russia has not been really nucking if you bucking directly with us. You can say whatever you need to say. Baby, I saw the report. We already know that Russia interfered in the 2020 election, okay? But being a little more brazen, and maybe this wasn't as intentional, just again, per the reports from the Pentagon, and it is their job to cool tensions and to make us, the American people, feel safe, especially if we're not ready to escalate and knuck if you buck back. But I say all of that to say that Russia has not directly confronted us because nobody really wants World War III. I mean, people talk about it, but who really wants that? Well, you know what? Let me not be naive. Maybe some people really do want World War III. We don't want World War III, okay? We got things to do tomorrow. We don't have time for nuclear disaster. Anyway, the U.S. has come out and said basically this was reckless and it was dangerous because it could easily provoke tensions between Russia and America. And we don't want unintended consequences or unintended clapbacks because you didn't clip the drone and then we mess around and think you really trying to knuck up you buck and then we send the boys on you. But my question is why? Why does Russia feel as though out of all things they can do it now when they have been so careful not to confront us directly? And this isn't a huge provocation, right? But it is something. You knew it was an American drone, so you knew we were going to have something to say about it. And you know we can't just let you play us on the world stage like that. So why now? Even though it's small, even though it could be looked at as like uh, uh, improper or incompetent, one thing I'm sure about and two things I'm clear about is that Vladimir Putin is tactical. So why now? I don't know, but we'll stay on top of it here.